Today we'll be reviewing star-studded action film from David Leitch, namely Bullet Train. If you want to know how I watched it early, jump down into the description of the video where I've described in detail of how I get to watch all these movies in advance and left my review even before the US embargo. Now let's jump on to the Bullet Train review. Before we start, let me remind you to please hit the subscribe button because a lot of early reviews including Netflix's Sandman, She-Hulk, House of the Dragon and Lord of the Rings are coming up. So let's start with a little bit of action. Now they've got David Leeds, so the action scenes are obviously going to be great. But how great are these action scenes as good as David Leeds? Uh, like Deadpool 2 or Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. I mean, both every every three of these films have different kinds of action scenes. Bullet Train is all about have uh, feast fights within a train, which are really interesting. Every feast fight here is, seems unique. Every person here seems to be uh, an expert of a particular thing. There are so many assassins on one train looking for the same thing. And that's the way that's the way the concept really uh, blends with the action. You have different assassins, their different fighting skills, and Brad Pitt is a central character who has to fight with all of these. So yeah, the action scenes of this movie pretty damn cool. But still, I don't think it's the best action film from David Leitch. I think the action scenes in Deadpool 2 are pretty nice now, weren't they? Uh, if you are asking, are the action scenes as good as like John Wick? Is this the next John Wick? And I would say definitely no. I mean, watching this and watching John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum side by side, I would definitely pick John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, uh, especially on the action scenes. Those, that's well, like one of my top three favorite action scenes, uh, action movies of all time. The action in that film was incredible. So don't expect it to be the next John Wick and you'll not be disappointed. I was not expecting it to be the next John, next John Wick. I mean, I was pretty, uh, I really liked the action scenes from uh, in this movie from what I got. I think they were all pretty damn nice so yeah it's not john wick level but it's still pretty close i mean if you compare it to the first two john wick movies i think yeah the action scene in this movie comes pretty close but if you compare it to parabellum i think it's far off behind but still it's just such, a, you know, such an enjoyable film you need to watch it what a star studded cast i mean like you know, ah, this is like one of the best cast i have uh, cast lineup I have seen this year. Um, you have you got Brad Pitt, Sandra Bullock, then you have Aaron Taylor Johnson, Bad Bunny, Joey King, and so uh, Brian Tyree Henry, Andrew Koji, and Fukuhara. So yeah, I think there are a lot of big names here, and I think all of them deliver their parts. All of them are pretty good. Uh, if you talk my favorite of of course it's Brad Pitt. He's just hilarious in this film and he does all his action scenes wonderfully. But if you talk about my second favorite, I would say it to be uh, maybe Andrew Koji or May Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah, both of those were like neck and neck for my second favorite. Um, Sandra Bullock's part though was a bit, you know, not up to the level I expected it to be, but she was pretty good too. But uh, and then Bad Bunny was decent, really decent. Joey King was into. I mean, uh, she was really, you know, interesting. Her character was interesting, but I really it didn't really uh, her character didn't really leave an effect on me. I wanted to know more. I wanted her character to be more developed. Everyone else saw was fantastic. Trained killer Ladybug wants to give up the life but is pulled back by his handler Maria Beetle in order to collect a briefcase and a bullet train heading from Tokyo to Kyoto. On board the train, he and other competing assassins discover their objectives are all connected. I think more than the action, I was very much invested in the story of the film, it's just so interesting it just never loses it it is just uh, by the time it ends i was exhausted there was so much story crumbled in here and it was just fun it's just damn fun so i really enjoyed this film especially to the story elements of it so yeah overall i had a blast with bullet train some characters are not as good and some are really good and then the action scenes were great they're not as good as John Wick, but you don't need to expect that. So yeah, overall, I really like this film. The story especially is the one that kept me uh, uh, along the whole film. I would like to give this movie 
a 7.7 .7 out of 10. So that was my review on Bullet Train. Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like, share and subscribe Film Villa. Thank you for watching.